so to follow that you have to follow along my videos you can start python by going to google and type python click on the website link you will be redirected to the official website and now you will have the few option here that is about section download section documentation community success stories news and events these are really important tabs and you can a lot of the information from the python here you can explore later from your own time so you have to do two things first one is shell this is the online shell on which you can do some quick python coding and it is free to you and you do not have to do anything go to the python org and start with basic python code and the next thing you want to focus is download option it is easy to download and just hover to the download option and you will have an option to download python which is the latest version python.org will automatically recognize your requirement of your pc or the system and it will give you the desktop version download link if you want to download something else then you can download what type of operating system you are using or something or you can download the some previous version of python just click on this window and you will get all the option regarding the previous download and the previous version from 2.0 from the latest version as scroll down a bit you can get all the information here you can see 2.0 version that was released in 2001 just scroll a bit you can see the python version 3.7 and it will automatically install the latest version if you want the older version then you can follow this procedure so let's go to the folder and go to the download and main drive in the download option and then click on save no download is then let's perform some tasks that are repeated from several ages for every software hey you need to this click on this particular action then you can check the python path then reduce the first path in this lecture you have to do it manually in the latest section so you will add the python in your path this is the current path that the python is downloaded i will prefer to change it according to your requirement i will prefer to install in my c directory so i will install it here i am on my c drive and let's see my python folder in here or i can create the folder here i just customize this installation and let's make this installation as a default here you have to install for all users and you can change this folder and my new folder of python that i have created i will install in it here and here of course python 37 and it is the latest version and this help us to recognize the number so that is useful when you have a different type of the project you might have the project that working with the 2.7 or the other project that work with the 3.7 you have to control different version of the python this type of file name will help you a lot during building your project when you have the different version of the python in your folder directory so at this point of time my python is in c drive and it is a python 337 so i just do the basic steps so now the installation has been completed i will close here and to check that i have installation the python in my computer you can see i have python 3.37 available also you can see the different apps and one most important thing that how to write or type your python code how you do that just click on the desktop and python 3.7 will appear here and you have installed the python the latest version you know what is a 5 plus 5 you can type in the shell and you can get the result python interpreter is ready this means this is working and you can see the python version and you see the these three arrow that be you are in the interpreter I hope you understand how to install python in your windows system and also how to verify that in the next lecture i will talk about how to execute python file using command prompt or ide or by with the help of script i hope you really enjoy this video and get insightful information if you enjoy this video please comment in the comment section below and comment me what you face some problem if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel get sidemen i hope you will enjoy this video i will see you guys in my next video